Hi, my name's Justin, and for the last few years, I've made it my mission to discover everything there is to know about the delicious and rich recipes that have been cooked up in Gibraltarian kitchens for generations. But I can't do this on my own. So to help me, I have recruited the skilled hands and impeccable tastes of those amazing women who have done their best to keep our bellies full and happy. This is Mama Lottie's Mamas in the Kitchen. Buenos dias everyone and welcome back to Mama Lottie's Kitchen. Today I have a very special guest because I'm joined by my summer sister, it's Mauisa or Maria Luisa. Um, so welcome to the show today. Hey, thank you very much. Yeah, I'm so excited to have you here. I'm, I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> what are you going to make us today? Because we're going to make three dishes today. That's right. Yeah, and I know we're going to be using the oven for a lot of them. Yeah. So what's the them. first one? We're going to start with a chicken and mushroom pie. Okay. Very delicious. And then we're going to follow with a tuna turner and the typical uh, Christmas pan dulce. So we're going to start with the chicken pie first. Yeah, that's right. We have a baking extravaganza today, and today's first pastry treat is Mawisa's chicken and mushroom pie. We really can't go wrong with this classic dish. We're going to start by chopping the onions, then we're going to add the chicken yeah. with the mushrooms and then the bacon. And then we'll add the other ingredients to make sure we, we do the, the right consistency, okay? Okay, so I'm going to chop the onions first. And I'll chop because the Because I know you don't like chopping the onions. No. <laughs> we don't want to start crying on the screen. So when did you start doing this recipe? Cooking has been my passion for many years. And yeah. um, it started at school. And then it's just carried on at, at, at home. You know, I, I love baking. I, I have passion in what I do. I do everything, as I say, with love. So if there's any cooking involved, uh, that's Mawisa. Mawisa's doing. <laughs> and then everyone, you know, you cook for everyone at home or do you get help in the kitchen? I cook for, for my family. So I've seen my mother cook for forever and I just continued. And my, my children see me cook and they like cooking too. So it's just a family trade. What sort of recipes? Because I know that I've spoken to other mamas and more, the seafood is more people like to cook. I prefer baking. Okay. I prefer like the, the sweet. See, that's got why sweet I, like, I like baking. For me. Yeah, I like baking, but obviously we <laughs> have to we have to cater for everything. So of course. So I mean, I just sort of get recipes and then I, I put in my little, little oh mark, you know my yeah. yeah yeah that's right. So like the, this was what like a typical chicken pie, but you're giving your twist. Yeah, sort of. I've I've added a bit of bacon, you know, and you can also add a bit of sweet corn, which we're not going to add uh, today, but it's just a question of trying it out and then sort of adding different ingredients to see what the others like. Well, I've cut this up. Do you need the whole onion or half? Half will be fine, yeah. Half will be okay. Yep. And uh, we're going to start uh, heating yeah. this up and frying it until it's what, soft and clear, no? Yeah. So I'm going to put this in the pan, which we've already prepared with a bit of oil yeah, in there. Yeah, that's fine. I'll put this in there. Yeah, I've added this here, so I'm going to let this stew for a little bit before we yeah, carry on cutting good, that. Yep. Uh, what do you want me to do in the meantime? We can actually cut the, the mushrooms and, and have them ready. Slices or cubes? Yeah, no, like a uh, quarter. We can do okay. it in quarters. We'll cut them in quarters. Yeah. Well, I've grown up with you at the beach, and you've grown up with Mama Lottie as well at the beach. Yeah, that's right. And, uh, you know, everyone's always called you Mawisa, but is it a name that, you know, everyone's always called you since, since school? or? Not everybody calls me Mawisa. Being Maria Luisa, there's a lot of Marias around. Yeah. So I, I just wanted to be different. So it's a question of, of shortening, so, you know. Special people call me Mawisa, so no, if you family. call me Mawisa, you're part of my special team. Oh, well, I'm honoured. <laughs> no, no, I know that we grew up with each other, and you know, the summer, summer mummy, summer sister, summer brother, no? Yeah, that's right. The summer family, which everyone, I think, is something people are used to. Everyone goes to the beach. Exactly, and in we, we love playing the kaluki, you know, the, the rami of 13 cards. Yeah, we spend all day playing cards on the beach. And it's a, <laughs> and it's a, it's a, it's a, com a summer competition, make sure. We jot down whoever wins and then we give a prize at the end of the summer. But well, one thing which we always do in the beach as well is bring a lot of cakes. That's Especially right. at tea time at five o'clock exactly. on the beach where everyone brings out the thermos, everyone brings out a cup of tea and the cake. I try to use the unsmoked bacon because I want to make sure that you don't taste that smokiness because we're, we're adding uh, sort of mushroom soup and, and thyme and I want that too sort of come out as a flavour. The mushroom soup is like, I'm, I'm not doing the traditional um, flour and milk and that. I, I'm, I'm adding the mushroom soup. Oh, everyone nowadays has busy schedules. Exactly, so I, don't, do I don't tend to overcomplicate yeah, myself. Yeah. So it's like, 
Well, it's nice. That's, that's your, your little touch. Yep. That's your twist to mm -hmm. everything. So that's all. So if you found that, that you, together. You, then we can add the chicken. Okay, I'll let you do that. Go ahead. Okay. Do we add the bacon at the same time no, as the we'll, chicken? No, we'll wait until the chicken is, is a bit sort of brown. What about we said? I wanted to give this a little bit of a twist and not use bacon or use more ingredients. Could I try and do that? Yeah, we could add, as I said before, we could add sweet corn or we could add uh, mixed vegetables. Maybe you don't want chicken. Maybe it's not a chicken pie, but you could add, yeah. you could add anything, you know. It's, so it's you just could do it with minced meats instead. Exactly, exactly. And then obviously instead of maybe mushroom, Condensed soup, we could use beef broth or something like that. Ah, okay, do we need to season this whilst it's yes. cooking? Yes, let's do some salt and pepper. Add some salt in there. Yep, salt and pepper. Just how long does that need to cook? A couple of minutes so that we see that at least the chicken is tossed and we, we see that it's white. Mm. So it starts to cook on the outside first? Exactly. Okay. It's going to so go in the oven, so obviously yeah. it's going to be cooked well. Mm. We can add the bacon well, now. I'm going to put this over here, so yep. I should we'll try it already? Yep. Okay. And it's smelling amazing already. Yeah. And then we'll have to add in <laughs> the thyme, was it? With the mushroom soup, and oh, then we'll add the thyme. And this is going to be like the gravy, no? Because exactly. Yeah, that's right. Usually when you cut open a pie, you get all the gravy that comes exactly. out as well. So well, that's the soup in this case. That's right. Yeah. And it's easier to open it in and, and put it in than actually having to make the, make the, the roux, you know? The cream yourself. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to get a sprig of, of thyme. Can you tell me how much? That's about it. That's a thing. And okay. Just, yeah. just pour, yeah? Yep. Yeah. And just... And this gives it, it the, that lovely flavour. I prefer to use fresh ingredients, you know, and if I can manage to get the thyme and, you know, parsley and things like that, I will. Well, it gives it that yeah. extra... Flavor. The extra oomph to the, yeah. to the yeah. dish. Yeah. We're going to cover it and we're going to leave it for five minutes. Yeah. We're going to lower the heat. So, Marisa, we're about to start with the tuna turner. Yes, that's right. This is ready, I think, so we need to wait for it to cool down. No? We're going to, and we're going to pour it inside the dish. Yeah. So, we, that's, that, in that way, it can cool better. Okay. And we're going to start with the tuna turner. So, I'm going to pour this here and then we can start over there with the tuna turner. Now, for Marisa's famous tuna turner. Now this is a recipe you can really make a song and dance about. In this bowl we're going to put the onion and the tuna. Just half an onion. Yep. Which is useful because you use the other half. Exactly. So we're trying to save here, see? <laughs> How does it feel having your own personal slave here cutting your onions for you? It feels good, Justin. It feels yeah. good. <laughs> I know, I can tell. <laughs> Perfect, that's done, no? We just need half of that, it's, it's, it's too much. Okay. That's, that's fine. Half of that's that. That's it. We're gonna mix it with the tuna. With the tuna? Yep. I, I don't like touching tuna. I will then. Okay. Your <laughs> tuna, no, not a fan. See, you made me cry now. <laughs> with the onion, told you. I'm fail, eh? but I'm going to cry. Now we're gonna chop the boiled egg, previously boiled. Where did the name for the tuna turner come from? Because I know it's gonna be you're going to say, it's simply the best dish ever. Exactly. Uh, it's in honour of, of <laughs> Tina Turner. So I had, I sort of gave it a little twist and it's a tuna turner. Well, we've added in the, the, the eggs to everything. Now we're going to add uh, some parsley. And how long would this take? More or less this, this will take around 30 to 40 minutes uh, to bake. So In the oven? In the oven. And about 170 something? 75, huh? 180. So now we need to open the pastry. Oh, I've got the rolling pin for you, too, for the pastry. I don't need the rolling pin anymore, you see. I, I bought the roll-up pastry, so ah, all I need to do is... We're going to cheat a bit. Yep, why, why not? not? Perfect. <laughs> we'll put that there. All right, so we, what we're going to do is we're going to open up the egg. Yep. Just beat it a bit, no? Yep. Okay. And this is going to serve as a base so that the ingredients will stick more easily. Well, a great thing about this, there's no... Heat to it, there's nothing to cook only, yet. So only you can, the, exactly. People with kids can do it with their kids. So now we're going to add mixture. Okay. So now what we're going to do is roll it like a. What? Roll it like a river. I'm not going to say it. Yeah? <laughs> so we roll from the bottom up. Yep. If you can bring me the baking tray with the. 
bacon parchment. parchment. Got the bacon so tray for bacon you. Bacon tray ready. Okay. Which so we laid out with some oil at the bottom so that the, you know, yep. the parchment sticks. Yep. What we're going to do is with the fork, close the edges so that nothing sips out. Okay. Now we forgot to say, are we using puff pastry or short crust? We are using uh, puff pastry because obviously it's in layers and we want a really high volume pipe. And it's got that fluff and that yeah, crunch to right. it. Yeah, that's right. And uh, we're going to... We're washing it with washing the egg white so the that egg. it doesn't burn, no? Yeah, no, it's got, it, it will give it that That's golden shiny. color, yeah. And what we'll do, we'll, we'll give it four little cuts so that the heat will escape this way. And it doesn't look for any other. Well, otherwise it's going yeah. to explode. Yeah. We're going to... Into the oven. We're going to wait and we're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to cover our pie so we can put both things in the oven at the same time. Very good. The pie's cooled down. Yes. We've got the tuna turn over there waiting. What do we do with this now? We're going to cover it with our pastry. So yep. what I'm going to do, I'm going to roll it a bit, even if it's rolled, and we're going to use short okay. crust pastry this time because we don't want it to really elevate. Okay. There we go. Right. So we. So obviously this is rectangle and, and that's round. Ah, okay. So we're going to try and. So we can thin it out a bit. Yep, thinning out a bit. It's just to support it wide enough so that I'm able to cut around the edges. With our pastry rolled out thinly, we drape it over our pie dish and cut the excess from the edges. But don't throw away that extra pastry just yet. We'll be using it later to decorate our pie. This dish has got this sort of dent there, which is helpful to... So you can help me? Yeah, yeah. Just into the grooves, yeah? Yep. Okay. I'm going to push it to the end, okay. Before we decorate, I'm going to do yep. just some leaves. I'm going to do three openings so okay. that the... Paper comes out, okay. So that's our pie ready, and we're going to. Ah, we're doing some little designs on top. Well, I'm not very artistic, uh -huh. I have to say. Maybe you can help there, but. I will try my best. <laughs> today we're just going to do, sort of like a leaf. Yeah. We'll do another one. That's nice. This is simple, but that little bit of detail gives it a bit extra, no? So with a little bit of decoration, both our pie and tuna turner are ready for the oven. Preheat to 180 degrees Celsius and bake for about 30 to 40 minutes. Join us and see how these savory treats turn out in part two. Don't go away! Welcome back! Our other two dishes are still in the oven, so it's time to start on our third baked treat of the day. It may not be Christmas, but it's always a good time for pan dulce. Moisa, we have the chicken pie yes. and the tuna turner in the oven, yep. which has been there for at least 20 minutes now. Yep. So I think it's time that we move on to my favorite bit, which is the, the, bake. Yeah, yep. the baking. So what okay. we gonna, how are we going to so do So we're going to do the rubbing method yes. using the flour, which we've already sieved. Okay. So that's uh, 300 grams of celery flour, caster sugar. Yeah. Right. Why do we use the caster sugar? Or can you use I don't know, later? You, ca you can, but the caster sugar is more refined. So it's, it's I, I prefer it more. We're gonna, a teaspoon of baking powder. Okay. Okay. I'm and just we're moving gonna, everything this way. Yeah. <laughs> we, we're gonna sort of mix this up, and now we're going to add the margarine. We're gonna cut them into pieces. And this, you said that you used to cook when. I used you to work cook. And yeah, I used no, to cook bake. it for for Christmas. Yeah. This was a Christmas, just Christmas, and then. But this is a recipe that you've had for many for years. For many or? years, it, it's from actually from school. Ah, okay. It's but I just uh, I've been adding a little bit of more extra things like the almonds and and I use this anise which is quite special. Ah. It's, it's more you? like the dry anise, not the sweet one, which gives it that that uh, sort of foom. <laughs> 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 Any reason why you? I I tried it with a sweet one, but it just doesn't come out the same. My friends used to say, "When are you going to do the pandoor sir again?" So maybe that's why it's so special. That, yeah. that the extra ingredient, no? Which so, and obviously sometimes I make it without the walnuts because my son is allergic to, to nuts. Ah. So I don't, I do not any of it. So you can leave the nuts out if you, yes. if you want and it'll be the same. Obviously, it's nut. not the same, but I want him to try my recipe too. So I make sure I do not the nuts to this. And this recipe, I know that you've baked this for charity as well. You've yes. also sold them, you know? Yeah, I just bake them and I, and I give them out for, for charity or just do like, Maybe 
tri treble the amount here and then you get like six buns, you know, and I make sure I give one Christmas to people who I know like it. Because we're going to make a big one. We're going to make two small ones. But you can, you can divide you can this into... Yeah, and, and you the can make... the consistency will be the same. Exactly, the ingredients will be the same. It's just a question of once we actually need them, yeah. you cut them into little buns or, or, or big buns. So it's, it's really what you, what you want. Brilliant. So we're rubbing that until what? Until it's Wait, very it's smooth? sort of like breadcrumbs. And every time I'm doing this, I'm incorporating some air. So we, we oh. make sure that it comes, it rises up. All right, so... Perfect. Okay, so now we're going to add the dry ingredients. Okay. So we have mixed fruit, and that's got mixed peel, but I add more mixed peel. We add extra. Yeah, extra oh. and the cherries. The glass the cherries. Do yes, we cherries. have to cut them up? I don't cut them up, because no. it's, it's good to take a bite and get the full, the full right? cherry. And all, all our nuts, which are the almonds, the pine nuts, and the walnuts. The almonds, they, are they roasted first or toasted? No, they're not, no. they're blanched. And then we just mix those We're all gonna in. We're going to mix this up so everything is covered with the, let's say, breadcrumbs. <laughs> and we said okay. that this we this cooked during Christmas, but, and, but you also made it during Easter. During Easter and, and really any time, but why should we stick to Christmas? That's, I, I sort of it daunted on me after many years. Why should I only, only do it on Christmas if I everybody know. likes it? Well, so. no, I like cake all year round. <laughs> I make all sorts of cake any time. We're going to add the... Wet ingredients, so I'm gonna. So we want to make a hole in the middle. Yeah, we have. So okay. it's our eggs. Two eggs. Two eggs. A little bit of milk. Okay. And my special anise. And just whisk all that together. Yep. Gonna whisk that, and we are gonna incorporate it in our so mixture. I know that you mentioned before that we add the milk, but we can't have it without the milk if you get the. Very large eggs. Exactly, but I've just added a, a little bit of... of oh, I can already smell the anise yeah, mm. coming through. Okay, so now we're no going to... First, we're going to cover it with a spoon, but then we'll need, we'll need to knead it. We'll need to knead it. If you find that maybe this is not the right consistency, you can add either more milk or yeah. more flour, you know? I think that's about fine. Well, I'm going to let you do the messy bit now. So I'm going to put some flour. The flour is just enough to cover this. Just enough to stick. cover so it doesn't stick. I more or less put half the mixture there. Doesn't necessarily... No, and then we, we're going to try and knead it. Whilst you're mixing that, I'm going to lay the baking paper on in the tray. Yep. Ready for when that's done. So cool. that's our first bun done. Okay. So we're doing two loaves for this. Yep. Which we can put on the same dish. We can. Yep. It's going to expand a bit so we we'll make sure that there are quite well separated okay because it's it's going to really double maybe double in size we're going to put the buns here into the dish okay into the dish and we're going to glaze them with the egg or with milk in this case we I've put the egg because we've been using the the egg wash for for the other do you get a different dishes. a different outcome depending on this is a maybe more more golden Okay. But as it is obviously it's going to have the, the syrup and the hundreds and thousands. It's been glazed, so now I'm going to do four cuts. Gives it that... Yeah, because that, one, that grows, that will sort of exactly. hedgehog style, exactly. you know? Exactly. So we can put that in the oven. Our pan dulce is ready for the oven. But first we have to pull out our chicken and mushroom pie and tuna turner, which have been baked to perfection. Oh, we just pulled these out of the oven. They're yes. piping hot. They smell incredible. So shall we just take these out and come on? Let's try. Go. Let's go with the first one. Okay. It's perfect. You can put some rice, some, yes, or or some mashed potatoes, potatoes alongside this. Vegetables, you know. So. Yeah. And the great thing is that the pastry is nice and thin on top. Yep. All right. Shall we give these a try then? Yes. Why not? Okay. Do you want to start with the tuna turner? Yep. Because I'm not, I'm not a, You're not a tuna, tuna person, fan. but it does smell very good, eh? Mm. Mm. What do you think? Lovely. All the pasta is coming through, all the, yeah. the boiled and egg. Yeah, I love the tuna. Sorry, you don't like no. it. No. <laughs> really, you don't know what you're missing. <laughs> and what about this one? The, shall we give this a try? The yeah, you go first. I'll go for this one. This is the one I'm looking for, because I love mushrooms. Okay. Steve, will I go here? A bit of everything. Yeah. 
Mm. It's good. See? Oh my god. It's so creamy. That's All the mushrooms coming through. I think that soup did that extra That's, bit. Yeah. That touch. And the thyme, the thyme is really strong, yeah? We yep. already added a little bit. Yep. Perfect. Cool. Okay, Marisa, the pan dulce is ready. Good. That smells amazing, yeah? Yeah, I'm adding golden syrup to give it that glaze that we talked about. And the sticky, mm. stickiness to it. Yeah, and we have to do it while, while it is hot. And what do, do we need to poke it so that this You can if you want because up? it's hot, so we can do that. So this is all yeah. while it's hot? Yep. And the golden syrup is going to so, sort of soak in and it's going to the, go to the end. No? Yep. And then what? We're going to dress it with these hundreds and thousands. Yep, that's it. That looks really colourful and really yes, that's done. sorted. So Do you want to put it on here? Yeah, why not? For display. Uh, yep. Just lay it on top. On no? top, yeah, sort of like a side. Okay. See? How does that look? That's it. Very nice. Perfecto. Yep. Bandulse, a staple of any Gibraltarian tea party. This, along with a cup of warm tea or coffee, is a match made in heaven. So thank you very much for joining us this week. I am so delighted to have Marisa here with me. It's so been a thank pleasure. Thank you so much for coming. And um, if you want to see more and if you want to see another mama next week, then join us on Tuesday. And if you really enjoyed everything, make sure you subscribe to the channel, you like this video, and don't forget to leave us a comment if you have any questions, if you want some input on what, what we should try in future. So thank you very much and mwah! Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> if you'd like to check out more delicious recipes, check out Mama Lottie's Gibraltar's online cookbook on Facebook or head to mamalottie's.com. Until next time, bon appetit. <laughs>